guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Samantha and I make videos on minimalism and intentional living. And today I'm going to share with you a list of 21 things that I won't be buying in 2021. The first thing on the list is a fancy coffee machine. I got married a couple of years ago and my husband and I were gifted a really expensive coffee machine, but I never really used it and I stuck to my instant coffee because I found it cheap, easy and tasty. My husband did however use a coffee machine but it recently broke and I'm not intending on replacing it. I do watch a lot of vloggers on YouTube make coffee and it all seems very complicated and ritualistic. Either they use a coffee machine or they use one of those pots and make these beautiful aesthetically pleasing concoctions but it's not something that I'm willing to do on a day-to-day -day basis. For me if it's not broke let's not fix it so that's why I'm sticking to my instant coffee for the foreseeable future. The next thing I I won't be buying in 2021 is a particular designer handbag. Now I've had my eye on this handbag for the last decade or so but to be honest with you I just don't have that kind of disposable income that can justify that purchase. There are other things that I need that are much higher priorities. I recently sat down and looked at my finances and I was honest with myself and realized that I can't make that purchase. However I have promised myself that if in the future I am lucky enough to be able to earn the kind of money that does cover the cost of that handbag comfortably in a month then I will revisit that idea. The next thing I won't be buying are specialized kitchen gadgets. Now that's very easy for me to say because I don't like cooking, I just like eating but I can understand how if you were somebody who liked cooking how it would be easy to get sucked into buying kitchen gadgets such as sandwich presses, bread makers, popcorn poppers etc etc. For me personally, I don't think people use them enough to justify the counter space that they take up. The next thing I won't be buying are decorative cushions. Now if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you will know that I hate decorative cushions. I find them so, so fussy. However, my husband does like them and we are planning to move out. And for anybody who's new to this channel or for returning subscribers, I'm gonna give you a little update on my living situation. So when my husband and I got married, he moved into my parents' house where I was living. We did that in order to save money for a deposit for a house. But then coronavirus hit and it scuppered all our plans. I've also recently had a baby and all of this has made us reevaluate our plans and think about where we actually want to live in the long term. So for the short Term, we've decided that we're going to rent somewhere. So as I said we are moving out and in the future if you do see a decorative pillow here and there then you can blame my husband because it certainly wasn't me. The next place where I won't be spending money is buying excessive clothing for my baby girl. She's only about two months old and she's been living in onesies. Before she was born I bought about eight onesies from Marks and Spencers and that's all she's been wearing. Life is really really busy at the moment and the last thing I want to do is spend time fussing over a two or three piece outfits. These onesies are easy for her and easy for me and I plan to keep her in onesies for as long as I can. We've also got a lot of gifts from family and friends so we've not had to buy her any blankets or any outerwear and the gifts are still coming so I don't really see myself purchasing an excessive amount of clothing for my baby. The next thing I won't be buying is a digital camera and that's because smartphones do a really really good job of capturing footage. All my vlogs are shot on my iPhone 7 and Yes, it might not be the best quality footage on YouTube, but it's still really good quality and it's something that I can still work with. The next thing I won't be buying in 2021 is makeup. Ever since 2019, I've been on a low buy, no buy. Now, if you don't know what a low buy, no buy is, it's a challenge where you commit to not buying anything non-essential. I've got a list of videos that documents my journey of my low buy, no buy on this channel, and I'm going to link those videos in the description below and also in the cards above. During my low buy, no buy, I also hit upon the idea of asking my friends and family to replace makeup that I've used up on occasions such as birthdays and Christmases. For example, my mum bought me a MAC lip liner that I wanted and my best friend recently replaced a foundation and a primer that I'd run out of. I actually don't wear or own a lot of makeup. I've got a video on this channel that documents all of my minimalist makeup and I'll link that video in the description below and also in the cards above. And it's because I own such minimal makeup that it's been easy for me for the last two years to not really have to purchase too much makeup. The next thing I won't be buying are things that I've not thought through. Because I'm so intentional these days with my shopping decisions, I absolutely hate being rushed into making decisions and 
that's why I try and avoid going shopping with people because I invariably get persuaded or influenced to buy things that I regret. So I've made a vow to myself to not buy anything in 2021 that I've not taken the time to think through. The next thing I won't be purchasing is perfume. Over the last two years of my low buy, no buy, I've actually managed to work through a lot of my clothing and a lot of my shoes, but my perfume collection is still going strong. And that's because I rarely remember to use perfume and also we've not really been going out too much because of coronavirus. After I do manage to work through all of my perfume, I've decided that going forward, I'm only going to have one perfume on the go at a time. The next thing I'm not going to buy is rubbish gifts for other people. Now don't get me wrong, I don't intentionally go out and get people rubbish gifts, but if I'm not sure what somebody wants, I invariably get them a gift voucher or something equally inoffensive such as a bar set, but I don't think that those things are thoughtful enough. So going forward, and I've also been doing this in 2020 actually, I've been asking people what it is that they want. Because this method has worked so well for me on my low buy, no buy, I now ask people to tell me exactly what they want and I go out and purchase it for them. The next thing I won't be buying are extended warranties. I've never really made use of an extended warranty and that's because the manufacturers set such a specific set of criteria for you to be able to take advantage. My family and I did used to buy warranties in the past but because we've never been able to use them and we always had to call people out to fix our appliances, as a general rule we've stopped buying extended warranties. The next thing I won't be purchasing are phone cases. I stopped purchasing phone cases ages ago and this is a phone case that I I use. Andrew bought this for me I think um, last Christmas and it's still going strong and I don't expect to buy another one in 2021. I use these things until they're worn down completely. If I do get another one it will probably be Andrew because he uh, can't stand seeing um, things going all raggedy but I'm okay with uh, having this for the next year or so. I think it looks in pretty good condition. And it's a phone case slash purse. Here I have all the cards that I frequently use. The next thing I won't be purchasing is a purse. I hate purses. I find them super, super fussy. I hate the idea of having to open my handbag, dig into it, find a purse, and then open the purse, dig into it, and find the thing that I'm looking for. I, as I said, use this as my purse. I have all my cards here. I never carry cash or coins and the cards that I don't use as frequently I keep in a rubber band like so and I have this in my coat pocket. I've been using this system for several years and I know some people find it funny but I think everyone should use a rubber band. The next thing I won't be purchasing are apps for my phone. I firmly believe that if you look hard enough, you can find free versions of most apps. The next thing I won't be buying is deodorant. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with buying deodorant, but if you've watched my channel, you will know that I often reference the fact that I feel super, super cold. And it's because of that reason that I hardly break into a sweat. And so that fact, coupled with frequent showers, means that I never really have to use deodorant. The next thing that I won't be buying are pamper products such as bath bombs and single-use sheet masks. Now, I have this fan to see in my head of lying in a bath with a sheet mask on my face and a glass of wine in my hand but I've realized that that fantasy is something that I've appropriated from TV. It's really not the kind of thing that I would find relaxing. The mere fact that I'd have to clean the bath before and after this fantasy bath is enough to put me off. The next thing I won't be purchasing in 2021 is a cable TV subscription. When Andrew and I moved in together we decided to cut cable in order to save money for our house deposit and I would be lying if I didn't say there weren't occasions where I haven't missed it. However, we've decided to commit to another year of no cable and streaming is good enough for now. The next thing I won't be buying is cling film. I actually get into such a mess every time I try to use cling film and often I just opt to use foil paper instead. But I have found out about beeswax sheets which are reusable and more environmentally friendly. So going forward in 2021, that's what I'm going to be using. The next thing I won't be buying are memberships that renew automatically. So even though companies will try and sneakily get you to auto renew by not sending you any reminders or hoping that you'll forget about it when it comes time to renew them, I always put in calendar reminders in my phone and in my computer so I can go and revisit those memberships that I have and to think again whether I want them or not. This could be for trials or even for memberships that I'm pretty sure that I want to keep. I just want to revisit those decisions and make sure that I'm certain of 
them. The next thing I won't be purchasing are shoes. Now to be honest with you, I could probably do with purchasing a few more shoes because during my low buy, no buy, I really managed to wear through the ones that I already own. However, between coronavirus lockdowns and my maternity leave, I don't see myself painting the town red anytime soon. So I could probably make the ones that I own already just see me through 2021. If you're interested, I'll link a video which documents my entire wardrobe, so all my clothing and all my shoes in the description below and also in the cards above. It's one of my most popular videos, so you might be interested in checking it out. And the last thing I won't be buying in 2021 is a house. So I've already explained how Andrew and I were looking to purchase a house before coronavirus hit, and then everything changed. Banks started pulling mortgage products that were on the market, estate agents couldn't do any viewings, Banks then started asking for a higher and higher deposits and people started working from home. And all of that made us pause for a second. If people do start working from home more and more in the future, do we really want to buy a house in London or would we be willing to look further out? And then I had a baby, which was a huge life change. And because of all of that, we decided we're going to take a pause we're going to rent somewhere for the next year and really see where we're at at the end of 2021. Do we want to buy or do we want to keep renting? And whatever we decide, I'll obviously keep you updated on this channel. And that brings me to the end of my list of 21 things that I won't be buying in 2021. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe as it really does help my channel and I'll see you all next week. Bye.